All right, so I uh, figured I would show off um, some industrial data logging with uh, what I used to call the industrial thing, but I'm not now I'm calling the rhubarb, uh, which basically uh, is an industrial interface to the Raspberry Pi. And uh, I'll explain that in a minute, but the basic setup here is kind of interesting. Um, this is an industrial uh, logging system that uh, is used on a, a rebar line. And uh, basically the system is going to be hooked up to a power supply that detects, um, uh, I guess, holes, if you will, they call them holidays, in the surface coating of the rebar, uh, so that when the rebar is put into a bridge, it doesn't um, rust and the bridge falls over. So uh, either way, the neat parts about this, um, this is the latest revision of the rhubarb, which is my board that I've designed. Um, it's an industrial interface to the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to put this here. Uh, it takes a 24 volts DC input power. Um, this is a protected uh, power supply side, so we protect against transient voltages, protect against over voltage, over current, all that good stuff you would expect in something industrial. Uh, here we have the uh, industrial connector, uh, opto isolators, and then uh, relay outputs, and also some uh, MOSFET outputs. Of course, those are all protected as well. And then uh, basically, this just you know takes your standard Raspberry Pi. This one happens to be a Raspberry Pi three, and uh, everything goes well. These things just uh, just snap together, like so, and you have the uh, entire assembly. So now we have an industrial, industrially hardened uh, Raspberry Pi uh, that runs off 24 volts DC, which is kind of great. Um, the input here with all these, these wires, um, this is hooked up to a set of terminal blocks. Don't laugh at my wiring, but it was something that was done quick and dirty. Uh, these switches here, um, or these buttons, these are switching uh, 24 volts, and uh, that is to emulate the contact closure on the uh, detector side of things. So when it detects a holiday, uh, I can emulate that by pressing these buttons and then it'll display it on the, uh, on the screen. The rest of this, uh, I'm looking at the Z-Pulse coming from an encoder, uh, Automation Direct, this guy, it's just a, a 10, uh, 1024 uh, pulse per rev encoder. Uh, it gives you, uh, it's quadrature, um, 24 volts output, so it gives you uh, A, B, and uh, Z-Pulse. And then I'm spinning this with an AMCI network stepper motor connected to my computer, and uh, um, made this fancy bracket here. Did on my 3D printer, which is a, uh, a Wilson 2. Did the design for that in Fusion 360. And now I have a uh, nifty little bracket that is probably way over-engineered, but it's cool nonetheless. So uh, let me get everything booted up here, and then um, I will show you the interface. All right, everything is hooked up now and booted and powered, so I uh, figured I would show off the interface. Uh, but before I do that, I forgot to mention that the, uh, the rhubarb um, has a real-time clock on it. So you can see that little chip there. It's a DS1307 um, with the battery backup, which helps because the Raspberry Pi does not have an internal real-time clock. Uh, also, too, you can see the input filter and reverse wiring protection. Um, fun stuff, all required for industrialized type equipment. So this is connected up. We have power um, going to the holiday emulator, and you can see our motor is spinning away at uh, 4,096 steps per rev, which um, with our setup, uh, each rev is about six inches on the production line. This is gonna go on. And then here is our little switch that's emulating a proximity switch that'll tell us when the line starts. So um, probably the best way to do this would be to Hold the phone, and that's what the HMI looks like uh, when it's all set up here. And you can see when I turn on the prox, the line status changes, and then we are logging holidays. So you can hear me clicking the buttons. This auto scales too, which was really fun to learn how to do in HTML. HTML is definitely in JavaScript. Um, it's just jQuery and some other stuff. Definitely not my first language, um, but uh, you know what? You learn stuff, and you're a better person for it. So we're auto-scaling, and this is running real-time on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, so this is running Ice Weasel, which is Firefox. We're logging holidays to a SQL database and um, refreshing a uh, I.O. interface about every uh, 100 microseconds or so. So this is uh, pretty darn quick. And then flip the proc switch, clears the holidays, and we're ready for another batch. If we go to that screen, you can see that our last batch uh, let me see, that'd be 21, 24 down here. We had uh, 32 holidays. So you know what, that's, um, that's not bad. 
So if they wanted to go there, well, actually it is bad. If they had 32 holidays, I wouldn't want that rebar in my bridge. But um, you get the idea. That's why I make these things. So anyways, that's just a uh, demo of what can be done with a Raspberry Pi. Uh, again, for a $35 computer uh, with a quad-core processor on it and the right interface, uh, you can do some pretty interesting stuff. So hope you find that interesting. And um, yeah, uh, have a great night.